So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. Uh, first thing I want to say is happy Father's Day, man, to all the fathers out there uh, in their child's life doing what they need to be doing, man, taking care of their kids. Uh, also, shout out to the guys who don't got no kids but stepping up to the plate, man, being that good father figure that most kids need. But anyway, let's get let's get into this video, man. So I want to make a video for the people who starting up YouTube channels because I remember when I first started mine, mine wasn't it wasn't like the easiest experience, especially uh, creating a channel and all that good stuff, uh, knowing what, how to upload, what to put in the upload titles and stuff like that. So uh, five quick things I want to tell y'all on what y'all should do to start up your channel. Y'all don't uh, y'all don't have to, but five things that I kind of experienced what I should do for from now on so uh the first thing is like having uh your camera equipment so i started off with the uh, iphone 8 uh i upgraded obviously went to the iphone 11 when it came iphone 11 pro when it came out so you don't need a crazy expensive camera or anything like that i also used two gopros at the time i first first started on my channel i had a gopro hero sessions and i believe i had a gopro hero i'm gonna say five uh, five black and those cameras both work perfectly you don't need nothing else you don't need nothing fancy you don't need an eight nine thousand dollar camera it's just not necessary for startup you don't need that you'll be straight with whatever personal phone you got right now and a GoPro or either or so um, you don't have to have the latest GoPro either um, save up a couple hundred dollars get you like a get you like a GoPro Hero uh, five six or seven you don't have to have the latest I got eights because they had a cool they had a good uh, trade-in program so if you trade in the old cameras you'll get a hundred dollars off the new camera so I thought that was pretty good to upgrade so that I could have some some fresh new cameras when a Hellcat come in but um yeah you don't need no crazy high-end cameras man stick to the Stick to the GoPros or your personal phone that you're using at the moment. Those those gonna work the best. The second thing is software. So when it comes to editing the videos, I'm not sure what you can use for PC. I don't know if PC has any free editing softwares, but I, I had already had a Mac when I first started my YouTube channel. So for that matter, I just use iMovie. iMovie is uh, free on any iMac or I think iPads too, they come on or iPhones as well. Um, it's free, super easy to use. Um, it, there's usually usually just three little, there's three sections that split into on iMovie to use your, to edit your videos. Very easy, they separate the video clip from the audio clip if you wanna do that. Um, I also use Keynote. Keynote is one of those apps that's free as well. They'll, those help you um, get like smooth animations in like you ever go to somebody's channel and they be like make sure you guys subscribe and that little red subscribe button pops up and then it clicks and then the, the hand comes up with the bell that you can do in keynote and it's just a matter of different slides and a transition that's how those little um, slides come up so keynote is also free too when it comes to that I'm not sure if you can get any Photoshop or anything for free uh, I'm pretty sure you gotta pay for all of it. I don't know if Photoshop has like has like a uh, a trial mode that you can just keep using to edit some videos here and there. But I'm not sure. I, I'm not a, really a big PC person. I always had like a Mac or something like that, or an iPhone to edit my videos. So now, when it comes to actually uploading the videos, what you want to do is you want to make sure you got tags in your videos. So what a tag is is so. Let's say you go to search like Anchor or NSX, right? Those tags you want to put in your video. So it's called a tag because it's one of those, uh, you want to have it one of those main words looked up for your video when people go to search it. So again, if you go to if you go to search Anchor NSX, so in your tags you want to put Acura NSX, the year, or you could put Anchor NSX as one word. Just try to put as many tags as possible in your video so that when people go to search it, you have better chances of people clicking your video or actually finding your video. Um, so like when I get my Hellcat, for example, I'm gonna put 2020 as a tag, Hellcat, Charger, Widebody. Just put as many tags as possible. Like most of my tags, I put Mopar right now. For my Chrysler 200, I used to put Chrysler 200, 200S, 200 all-wheel drive. Just put as many tags in as possible because that helps uh, people locate your video when they type in a certain word phrase in the search bar. So 
just make sure you you doing those when you're editing when you're uploading your video you can't miss it there's a big tag section for your videos um, every time you upload them you can preset tags as well so if you know you're gonna be doing the same kind of content for the same kind of for the same car you're gonna be posting those same videos often you can put the same tags in um, and they'll automatically come up every time you get ready to load a video, uh, upload a video. So every time you get ready to upload a video, you'll have those preset tags already there, and then you can just add to that for whatever other um, kind of tags you need for people to search your videos. That's one of the main things I really wasn't like, I really didn't catch on to. I really didn't know what the tags were. So if you click on any video on YouTube right now, if you look right right under the the video you should see like these little blue words and those are the tags so when you search something those little words are the main thing that helps you find that video so make sure you're doing that for sure because that's going to help you um get more views uh help people find videos multiple different videos for what they're looking for so they may have watched five different videos but as long as your tag had one of those words in it you may come up on that page of a video so just, again, put as many tags as possible when you're doing that, when you're uploading your videos. Now, when you're doing these videos, something nobody told me, obviously, when I had to find out for myself, and I didn't find out until I had a thousand subscribers because you won't know until you get to that point. Make sure your videos are at least 10 minutes long. Now, that could be an eight minute video with an intro and an outro, or just 10 minute long video, period because what happens is when you start when you get monetized if your videos aren't 10 minutes or longer they will put an ad right at the beginning and right at the end now what that means is obviously most people are going to watch that first ad but the problem is a lot of people don't watch the full video so by that even when your video ends they're not going to sit there and watch that ad they're just going to jump to the next video so not so, not a bad thing but at the same time you want to get you want to get those ads looked at before the end of your video so that you get paid for your your videos or paid for your views or whatever you want to call it so make sure that they're 10 minutes because when they're 10 minutes they put an ad like two minutes after your video begins and then i think they put one in like at like six minutes i'm not 100 percent sure but they put one they put one a couple minutes after it starts and a couple minutes before it ends so that way if somebody watching the video they'll have to get to that ad before they get to the last couple minutes of the video which is which is what you want you don't want to have it just watch one ad and then at the end of the video if the people really mess with your videos like that they'll watch the whole ad but again most people uh, don't have that attention span so once they get to the end of your video and your video about to end and then that last ad pop up they're just not gonna watch it they're gonna go to the next video most likely and I I mean I'm I, I know I, I know this for a fact because I, I'm I do that sometimes just because it's like the video over while well, I want to watch the ad it's just annoying even though you could watch the first five seconds of it and then skip it but so make sure for that reason you want to make sure your videos are at least 10 minutes long so that way you could get those couple ads in the middle of your videos instead of at, right at the beginning and right at the end of your video. Um, Cause obviously you wanna get paid as much as possible. But that's just a, that's just a tip for most people who, who are looking to do their videos. Make sure they're at least 10 minutes long. 10 minutes long so that when you get monetized, boom. All your videos is 10 minutes long, you're good to go. You don't gotta worry about it. You get your, have, you're gonna have your couple ads in the middle you gonna have one at the beginning, one in the middle, and you might have one towards the end too because of that reason. So now again, when you start your YouTube channel, YouTube doesn't tell you that, they don't, you know, they don't let you know. Um, I had a couple friends, I had a couple of people that were doing YouTube. I don't know if they knew about it before they got monetized or not, but just one of those things nobody let you know about. And you should pay, you should pay close attention to it before you start doing your videos. So let's say you just started your channel and you did five videos and they was already six, seven, eight minutes. From now on, just make sure you do 10 minute videos or what you could do is throw in an intro that's like a minute long or throw in an outro that's like a minute long. Or what I do is I, I made my outro a little longer so that I can have those, those next couple videos sit on the left and right of the screen. So if you wanna click on them, I, I always leave those like a minute or two long so people could just sit and watch the car or whatever or click the video. So. Make sure y'all do that, man. 10 minutes long, you'll be good to go once you get to 1K and monetize your videos. Next thing is, or actually the last thing is, once you post your videos on YouTube, 
the biggest thing you could mess up on is not sharing them to other social medias. Um, it's going to be the hardest to gain subscribers and gain views with just only posting it to YouTube because YouTube only posts your video for other people to see it if you got multiple likes on it in a certain period of time or if you have those perfect tags so that when somebody uh, looks up that video, yours is the first like 10 videos to pop up, which is gonna be unlikely if you're new to doing videos because YouTube isn't gonna push your videos uh, over people who already got 50,000 views, 15,000 views, or they got um, a little bit of views, but they got like a thousand likes. Like when you get those likes, those push your videos um, to the higher of the list. And that's what you want. You want to have that. So make sure when you're posting your videos to YouTube, you post them to Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Instagram. If you got a Twitter, post it there too. And post it every time. Um, even if even if you're taking like a break in, be in between your videos, I say you're doing your videos every other day, make sure when you post your video on YouTube, post it on Facebook, all of those social medias, the day of, and then the day you having a break, post them again, just in case. So most people that probably either missed it, didn't see it, or um, sometimes uh, YouTube doesn't push those videos to your subscribers. So for that reason, you wanna, again, post, don't repost it on YouTube, obviously, but post it again like your Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Snapchat lets you actually put the physical link right in your picture of your Snapchat so that most people, when they just click it, it goes right to your video. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is, is it's like that generic YouTube kind of where you're not logged into it. So um, their like or view doesn't count sometimes, but it still will give you the general uh, link to it so that people at least know like, hey, I gotta go to YouTube and make sure I watch my boy video, yada, yada. So again, Post those videos the day of, make sure you post them on, when you post them on YouTube, just take that link, copy it, post it on Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, and then on your days of a break, or if you don't take a break, before you post your video the next day, make sure you share that video one more time, and then upload your next one and share that video as well. So, um, but again, these are just a couple of things that I kind of learned while going through my little journey on YouTube that kind of help out because again it took me three years to get to the 1k mark um i know some people who did it in like six months to a year which is which is great because again if you got that consistency you'll be fine you won't have a problem but if you're not consistent like i was you gotta be doing multiple different things to keep your views going and keep your subscriber count going every day uh and then also, once you get monetized, you want to be able to take the take advantage of the most take the most advantage of each video as possible. So that's why I want to let y'all know about these couple things, man. So I know YouTube is getting uh, more and more popular uh, as far as people just wanting to do channels, which is good, man, because we need as many informational videos as possible. As long as long as they're well, facts and stuff like that. So, but this video is pretty much my experience so people who may not know this stuff this, this should be useful to y'all because this is, a, this is some some stuff I just didn't catch on to till it was too late so um, again hopefully I like this video man I appreciate y'all for watching we are two weeks into the three weeks that was left for my Hellcat to either uh, reach the dealership so it should be about two weeks now at this point um, I'm hoping the car has at least been picked up at this point um, it's going from Canada to Virginia so I'm not sure I mean Virginia from here upstate New York is six hours I'm not sure how, how far that would be from Canada maybe nine hours so it shouldn't take no more than a day obviously for the car to get picked up and put at the dealership so I'm just hoping um, when he said that there was a few weeks left uh, like three or three or four weeks left from that point in time it should be two weeks left now so oh yeah and one other thing I forgot before I before I leave y'all is if you all need music the main thing i need i use for my music is um soundcloud i go to soundcloud and then you can go to soundcloud.downloader.com or .net it's one of those to download the music for free now when you put in your music in your videos make sure you turn it down to about like i want to say anywhere from nine percent or lower so that way it's not so much music or so loud that it's going over the audio of your uh video your your video audio you don't want it to be too loud or too annoying because some people use a lot, a lot of people use headphones. A lot of people just watch them straight off their phone. But the, for the headphone users, the music is going to be a lot louder um, in the background. So when you're editing your views, videos, make sure you turn the volume of the uh, 
audio for the music down. You can turn it down to like, I usually do like anywhere from 9% or lower. Uh, the highest I go is 11%, depending on what the volume is of the video. Sometimes, uh, I'm sorry, the volume of the song. Sometimes the song's um, audio are low. So the highest I might go is like 11%, which is not bad. It's still like a nice, good background type sound. And it's not overpowering your video. So that's one other thing I forgot to tell you. It's been a long way, y'all. A long way, but that's all I got for y'all today, man. Hopefully, y'all have a good one. I'm out, man. Peace.